SDC is here, and today we're talking Pokemon cards, and we're going to take a little look at the prices of Pokemon cards headed into 2023. Should you buy? Should you sell? What did I buy? What did I sell? Let's take a look. And the first card up to bat. Today is the shiny magic card from Celebrations. And all of. Ce oh, hey! Slow down, slideshow. Take it easy. Cut. Take two. Spoiler alert. Next card's a Watsy. We can't go backwards. Ah! <laughs> oh no! Go back! There's no going back in life. You're only going forward. Well, magic card's going down. <laughs> and Duo is not doing nothing. Do not more like it. And uh, it's just going straight line. And that's a first edition watching card from 1999. Can't go up a little bit. Can't go up a dollar. Can I get one dollar? Can I put it in the cup? Come on, Duo. Do better. More like do better. No going backwards. Here I have a card. Again, hanging out, being in the community. I I want people to make more content. I want people to be involved. I want people to comment, like, subscribe into this video. Get in the lives, hang out, be part of the community. There's room for everybody. There's and and this card I got again hanging out, and I got a hidden legend explode. Right now, 1082, and it's on the slow climb. <laughs> if you have this card, it's a hold. Hold on to your backside because this card's about to explode. <laughs> and here, I like to talk about cards that everybody has. Everybody has 10 of these. Everybody's got 20 of these. I got 18. 18 Greninja Gold Stars going low, low and slow. And I'm hanging on to them. I'm gonna send PSA, just dropped the $15 grading. I got the four that look the best. They're going in with the other stuff. And Greninja Star graded. If you could get it in that 10, you're looking nice. Here we got the Dragonair Shadowless. Wait, is there a shadow? There's a shadow? It looks like there's a shadow. Why do I see a shadow on my Shadowless? This is unlimited. Oh, I, that's an error. There's no going back in life. So I, I got the Shadowless Dragonair. It's one of my favorite artworks ever and it's not a hollow it's just a beautiful well-made pokemon card but up here we're looking at the unlimited price the shadow list has got to be more i don't understand why the shadow list don't get respect in this community but this shadow list at number five right here is just bouncing up and down I, i'm surprised there's so much movement on it when again i would expect cards this old to just slowly increase with time i mean you put it in plastic, the cost of putting it in plastic alone, it, it's got to go up. It costs more. People want more money to make the plastic cards. It, everything's going up. Except for the Shadowless Dragonair. <laughs> Everything else is going up. The next card are we looking at today? Sweet Cool V. Now this is from Evolving Skies, you might have heard of it, and this one is going down. But, what I did notice about this is it's starting to level up. I think we're looking for the floor. Now, that R word, reprints, if that R word comes out, th this card is going down some more. But, to my knowledge, right now, I there hasn't been any reprints. So, I think this one has a nice word. It's a beautiful card. There's a term, Junk V, 
Oh, I got the junk bee. There's a sweet coon. There's a sweet coon bee. And a ball bean sky. There's a great car. Seven dollars. I don't know. If I was buying seven dollars, I think it's a good price right now for me. This is what I would do. But uh, I do have one. I like it. Thank you, Pokeballer Mike. Appreciate. Speaking of Pokeballer Mike, the Butterfree Rainbow won this in a pack battle. Going down, Darkness Ablaze. I'm liking me some Darkness Ablaze. Right now, it, it's got a reputation as, as one of the worst sets. Oh, this, Battle Size, Darkness Ablaze. I, I'm loving the worst sets. For me, the cards are great. The price to get in and get them is cheap. This is a $7 card? I'm in! It's a rainbow. You might know this about me. I, I do like the rainbows. Being in Hawaii, the bows, solid. And the good thing about this card is the art on the rainbow is not too complicated. When you get a Eternatus or something crazy on a rainbow, you can't see what's going on. You might as well, you need a basic art for a rainbow. And then you have a card that you can see in the pops and it just comes out beautiful. Again, cards going down. If I want one, I'd pick one up now. The odds of them reprinting Darkness Ablaze, very low. I never say never, but if I had to bet $100 that they will not reprint any more Darkness Ablaze, I think that's a very safe bet. So again, you're looking for the floor, you always want to get in on the bottom. These rainbows in Darkness Ablaze might be the pickup of the week. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe if you want more of this fun insanity. Remember in life, there's no going back. And um, tune in for the next video. If you like this one, check right here. If you like this one, check right here. All right, and bye-bye.